Welcome to Marek's Mediocre Masterpieces, the show where I recreate a masterpiece in just 15 minutes using my paint set. Konnichiwa, art lovers. I hope you're well. Today I'm going to paint Hokusai's The Great Wave of Kanagawa, also known as The Great Wave. So get your timers on and let's hope this high tide fills us with some pride. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Good luck everyone. This is one of the most recognized images in the entire world. And I am probably going to make it unrecognizable. If you were to say to me, um, Marek, this looks like a um, wood block print that was mass produced and sold throughout Japan, and you could get hold of a copy for pretty much the same price as a double pack of noodles, then I would say, well done, you have watched the same documentary as me. What they used to do is they used to make prints on these wooden blocks and mass produce them until they stopped selling, and then they would sand down the blocks and do another print on them. What are you doing there? I'm frothing it. Of course, when you see froth on a wave, a lot of the time you think of sewage. Hoxai it wasn't really known to the Western world until they did an exhibition in, in France. And Van Gogh was a, uh, or Van Gogh was a, a big fan. The main thing I have to worry about in this episode is doing an impression that is offensive. You fancy um, coming out in the boat today, Waylon? Are you Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look at the waves, because there's one that's bigger than Mount Fuji. How can you tell that? Because I doubt you're as oblivious as I am, but there's a, a mountain in the background. This was one of 36 prints that Hokusai did, which were all visions of Mount Fuji. Make up some proverbs as you go along. Many the he who swims he who the one who swims nearest or don't actually don't make up any proverbs six minutes what i like about this picture everyone in it is bald maybe they got all the bald men out send them into the sea drown them all get the froth in and then what are you gonna do after you've done your froth in oh, i don't know i don't know why i'm doing this voice for Four minutes. Let's get that difference in the colour. Oh, suddenly it pops out. It popping me. You got that sky popping there, me. Are you going to use the same thing for the boats? Yes, I am. Don't you worry. Three boats out there, and the only ones who survived was the <laughs> Forest Gump. Two minutes fifty-five. You've not done so well on that, have you? Get lost. You get lost. Shading. Is that making it better? Or is it making it worse? Make the scene more intimidating. Yeah, I'm gonna do the froth. Which second left? Oh, one bit of froth. I mean, the, you've got time to do one bit of froth and it looks like a mistake. There's one bit of froth right in the middle of that one there. Not too bad considering there is the Great Wave by Hoxai and here is my wet mess. And the main thing that upsets me is that one bit of froth. I'm going to give this a starting price of 11 pence. eBay links in the description below and also to all the paints I've bought and to the black cardboard which you'll need for the next episode. And also a link to my paper to, if you want to donate and help me out. And thank you to everyone who has. Next time, I will be painting Kandinsky's Several Circles. This is the big chance, everyone. The big chance. Get yourself some black cardboard. And I think we can do a good one before this current series is finishes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing on social media. And happy painting. Bye. I'd like to welcome you all to the annual Bald Men's Day Out convention. It's very brave of you to come following the losses we sustained during the um, mountain walk last year and the many deaths in the roller coaster incident the year before that. But I can assure you, this time I've picked a jolly safe outing. The sea's perfectly calm here off Japan, and let's all try and enjoy ourselves. <laughs>
That's all very well, but it's exactly what he said last time, isn't it? Just stop worrying. I mean, who says things happen in threes? Meanwhile, far below the sea level. <coughs> Poseidon. Uh, uh, I say Poseidon. How dare you disturb me polishing my trident. This better be good. Um, uh, you told me to tell you if I ever saw any bald men. Yes, there's nothing I hate more than bald men. Well, there's several hundred of them doing some canoeing just right above. What? I'll show them. I'll give that bloke his due, actually. Um, this is pretty blooming nice. What did I tell you? Yeah, look, you can even see the mountains over there. No, the mountains are that side. So what's that then? Oh, shit! Lieutenant Dan, we are the only boat left.